Unfortunately, I can't find the little dude anymore, but um, I thought I'd show you a close-up of the aphids. You can see they're actually sort of tapped into the to the phloem of the plant, drinking the sugary sap. Um, and I think just earlier, there's an ant went past. Um, so the ants actually farm aphids and they drink the honeydew that the aphids exude. So the, the aphids drink the sweet sap of the plant and then the ants eat the honeydew that they, which I think is kind of like their poo. Um, so it's quite busy there and you can see they're quite prolific. So with some of these, I'm going to have a look at the different broad beans, see how they're doing maybe cut some tops off and maybe get my um, aphid sponge out just to wipe some of the worst ones off. Um, the good reason not to actually remove aphids yourself is that the aphids being there will encourage um, natural predators to come in. So I don't want to get rid of all the aphids and leave no food for the ladybird larvae and the other larvae but at the same time I don't want the aphids to suck all the sap out of my um, broad beans. So it's a bit of a balance. I'm just going to look out and see how they're doing and take it case by case.